All right, and now let's do subtraction. Same problem, 58 minus 29. Um, again, start with the big number. So I'm taking away in the arrow method, um, which is different than with the number line is more finding the difference. In the arrow way, it's taking away and adding to. So 58 minus 29, start with my biggest number, 58. Um, and now I need to subtract. So should I take away 9 or should I take away 20? That's my choice. Maybe I'll do minus 20. 58 minus 20, 38. Okay, I've done the 20. Now minus 9. 38 minus 9. I can count in my head. I can count on my fingers. I could even put a little dashes down here, but it helps me. 30, I need 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29. There's my answer. Okay. Um, I can do it a different way. 58 minus 9, I could do that first, minus 9. But actually, if I am really good with my number bonds, I would actually turn this 9 into an 8 and a 1 to make it the easiest. And I would subtract 8, 58 minus 8 equals 50. And then I would subtract my 10s, minus 20 equals 30, took away my 20 took away my 8, I need to take away 1, minus 1 equals 29. So that is the arrow way method for subtraction. Hope that's helpful.